And we're live. Here, here we are, man. I'm with, uh, I, got, I got my friend Lestat with me. Uh-oh. Lestat is the LARP Slayer. You've heard of him? Lestat is the LARP Slayer. How you doing, man? How you doing, Lestat? Hey, what's up, Marcus? What's up, people? Thanks for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, man. We're here. We are here. We are live. So for people that don't know Lestat, I'll just give you a little background. Lestat is a, uh, has two sites, and uh, I'll bring those up for you. He, do, he runs uh, two sites, Conspiracy Distillery, right, which has 61,000 views. I believe he inherited that from Abel Danger or somebody. He'll tell you about it. And uh, his, his own site on YouTube as well, Lestat, has about, uh, looks like 1,400 subscribers, puts out videos, long videos. he got, like, long two-hour videos, uh, covers a lot of the, a lot of the LARP stuff, the things that I try to, you know, I try to, uh, I, I mean, I get into it, and I seem to be getting into it more and more because it's very interesting about the whole gang stalking stuff. So, 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 Sat, what, what I want to know first: um, you, you think of you, do you, do you think of yourself as like a kind of a an expert on you know this LARPing thing uh, of sorts? Uh, well, I think that maybe I'm. Uh, I consider myself a sincere. Somebody that went through it and saw everything from an inside point of view, and uh, I, and because I had to defend myself at one point, I eventually had to learn how, how this psychological games were being played here in, in YouTube, and and I I can detect the things that some people uh, I mean in the way that they form the words and, and things, uh, I've been able to detect them and catch them on on the move a lot of times. Mm. So I, I don't consider myself an expert. I just try to do my best, you know. Somebody, you have some. You're somebody with experience. So you are on the inside. You say, what? What do you mean? Tell people what. What do you mean by the inside? What exactly? I mean, to me, live action role play. A live action role play online is this illusion that some somehow what the what happens is the player presents himself as being attached to something greater. A deep state operative, a a uh, CIA guy, uh, a, a cop, you know, and there's this, this the illusion that the information is not necessarily necessarily coming from the person, but it's coming from a higher entity. Is that would that be a correct assessment in your view of what what we're talking about, right? Yeah, uh, actually, it is basically a LARP. Uh, when when in the game of the LARP, you choose a character and a role. Let's say. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be, I don't know, Maximus, and I'm going to be a hacker pro or a deep state programmer or white hat. And all the people that are also in the LARP are going to support uh, whatever you, you say regarding, are going to support your role as you support them. The thing is, is that when the, the game is on, they can, they're able to bring people from the outside in and, and thinking that it's a real thing, you know, because... Other people are supporting it. No, oh, yeah, the, this guy is a composer. This guy uh, makes puzzles, and and this creates a virtual fake environment that uh, immerses people really in a dangerous way. You know, it because it, it it confuses, and when reality, when you have your reality foundation being questioned, well, you get people falling into cognitive dissonance or just being unable to trust it or, or discern reality. You know, that's why uh, we got so many psychological problems we've seen on, on YouTube lately. You know, this kind of YouTube psychosis somebody mentioned, um, named it. So do you think it's, do you think it's something innocent? Like it's just a, it's just like a social, a social phenomena where people get together, they talk, they, they socialize, and then they fall down this, this rabbit hole of psychosis, as you said. They become dependent on the role play. Do you think it's something is is it something? What I want to know is: is something innocent, or is it something more more uh, nefarious in the sense that it's connected, that people are willing to pay for that kind of for others to do that kind of manipulation? That's really what I'm after. And that's that's an excellent point. I think that just like a, a knife, you can use it to uh, cut onions. You can also to hurt people. That's the weapon uh, when something becomes weaponized. You know, when, when what comes uh, what comes first, the weapon or the so so what you're saying is these groups form like Q, for example, or the many ones that we're I, and we'll talk about the one we're we're witnessing form right now, which is 
we'll talk about that one. I think you know what I'm talking about. The, this this new uh, group. Uh, but I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> but what is so? What comes first? That's what I want to know. Okay. Well, what comes yeah, first? Does does Q come first and then make his audience? And then is approached in a way to manipulate people, like funded to manipulate, or is, or is it the other way around, where the money that creates the, the this thing right from the top? What do you, what's your what's your take on that? That's uh, that's a good question. Actually, I think that it, it works both ways because mm -hmm. I can give an example for like Cicada through three hundred one, that it's something that started original, you know, with uh, real people, eventually got hijacked. You know, that, that person that hijacked uh, that uh, movement or group has started uh, weaponizing in a way, like, in example, he started seeding the idea that, that Cicada 301 was NSA connected or CIA or even WikiLeaks. So when he present, when that person that represented that group uh, presented himself with other people, other people had this preconceived ideas is that, Maybe he's NSA, maybe he, this guy's a genius, this guy's this and that. So that gave him power and authority, right. you know. And in the other case, you have funded fake grassroots movements, like uh, formerly known as astroturfing, that are going to create movements up from the from the bottom up, like in the case of uh, Unity for Gay, that it's something that is based all over at, from WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. You know, it's a, a fake movement uh, supposedly to support uh, but it's completely, uh, <laughs> the characters involved have, uh, again, are from the same group that are creating this LARPs, uh, have the same kind of uh, criminal background even, you know, mm -hmm. scamming, con artists, uh, on the same even previous movements that were well known to be infiltrated, like Occupy movement, mm -hmm. you know, you yes. can pinpoint them. Uh, and, and I guess that's... Uh, you know, that's a classic maneuver, you know, you have to control the opposition and opposition in this case to be activism, you know, uh, people wanted to change things uh, and being weaponized and used against them, it, it's so cruel, it's cold, you know, it's cold, it, it's, and it's real. People say, when, when people hear stuff like this, the, the average person that doesn't spend, you know, all their time like you and I online doing this, they would say, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. He's a kook. He says, right? And that's what they say, right? And, and then when I, like someone like me who does, you know, like I do basic news and uh, every once in a while I jump into the law, people say, oh, Conti, you're, you're down some rabbit hole. We don't even know who these people you're talking about. It's all in your head. I said, no, it's, it's actually, it's, it's very um, insidious the way, uh, the way the LARP tries, the LARPers try to, uh, infiltrate your 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 platform, and you you try to explain it to people, and some people get it. And they say, "Oh, you fucking you, you're in bed with the wrong you know wrong cats," and I say, "Ah, no, no, they're not connected to anything." I'll, I'll say one other thing: what you said, which you confirmed what I was thinking. I used to be a, a professional psychic, right? And and if I would sit, if I would sit in a chair, right, at a club, and I say, uh, "Psychic readings." All powerful, and I just sit there, and it's just me sitting in a chair. People will be like, eh, I don't believe this guy. But if I put a set of tarot cards on the table, or a crystal ball, or I say, let me, I'm doing palm readings, or I say, oh, this is a, uh, you know, some higher realms, you know, a picture, you know, a Buddha statue or a Satan statue or something like that, that becomes more valuable. That becomes. Because people think it's connected to something more, and that's yes. what you talked about. Because the LARP is the LARP is ridiculous and inconsequential unless it's unless people believe, like in Q, they believe it's Trump. Right? Is that is that fair to say? Yeah, absolutely. Now imagine adding uh, added value. If I were also with with you, and I would come in and, and see what you're doing, and it was like, whoa, this guy's legit. Man, and, and then right. you read me and like, oh, shit, this guy, uh, he, he nailed it and stuff. And uh, other people are also in. So the people are going to, that's going to create this social reaction. And when the people that don't believe that you are a professional psychic are going to start feeling bad, you know. Right. And that's a, that's a very primitive, primitive instinct, 
you know, uh, do that, the do the people getting involved? In your opinion, the people getting involved. Okay, so someone sets up a lot, but is there people? The people getting involved are they willful idiots, or are they aware? Of what's what's going on? Are they are they jumping on the bandwagon to be part of something, or are they just being dragged along and they don't even know it, or, or a combination of both? A, a combination of both, you know, because uh, when it, it comes to a point, and I, I and I nail I reduced it as when people start acting inconsequential in front of obvious uh, evidence. That's when I know that they're LARPing it. It, it. It's I should. I'm wasting my time like discussing with that person. You know that they know perfectly what they're doing, and no matter what reason that you're gonna put on in front of them, it's not gonna change. So it just okay. But there are people that are confused. There are people that think that they are really doing something. You know, like yesterday there was this interview with uh, Defango and Dave Hoffman. I saw Phoenix and Igma guy, this YouTuber that talk about Isaac Cappy. You know, the person that committed suicide. Yeah. I, I also, don't know a lot about the story, but I I, I know I, I tried to stay out of that one. <laughs> I sat yeah. on the sidelines through that whole thing. No, that's okay. I mean, the imp the interesting part is that that guy during the whole the interview, you can see him that he really believed what. Uh, he was feeded on, on, on false information, you know, and he he was there defending it. So mm. now you can see that, well, it's not like he was being paid or, or part of the LARP. Right. It's like he got <laughs> he got surrounded by that virtual world and, and he really thought, and that's how a LARP feels real. When you bring real people or real uh, uh, things that are happening on, on the real world into, into it, you mix them. That's how you make it look legit, and that's the only way that you can get it hooked, actually, to, to people. So that's when it, it t turns into dangerous, you know, when it stops being a game and, and it starts messing with people that are not willfully uh, playing along or aware of what's going on. Yeah, they become kind of a gang. I mean, that's the essence of a gang. You're forming a gang, and then, and then suddenly, okay, so you're, har you're almost like what you're doing is you're harvesting this kind of anger. You're harvesting this kind of belief, right? And if I say, if we all agree on, I, I don't know an example, I can't, uh, no example comes to mind, but if we all agree on something, right? Or like, for example, Hillary Clinton is a criminal. Right? Now, whatever the truth is, it doesn't matter at this point, but the theme is that Hillary Clinton is a criminal and we're going to lock her up. So, so we have this whole community forming around people that are, are pumped with the idea that Hillary Clinton is a criminal. Now, she may just be a criminal, but in our LARP, in our world, she is definitely a criminal, and she's eating babies in tunnels under the, you know, somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. She's a horrible person, right? And, that, and that, that starts to form, and that starts to form, right? And then what can you do with that kind of energy? Well, you could, I think, I think it's fair to say you could put that behind a political campaign, right? You can say, point all those people at anybody who opposes Trump. You know what I mean? Like, how do you... The point is that I believe that it is ultimately harvested at a at a higher level, like Q. Absolutely. Absolutely. We, we, yeah, we have evidence. I, I, I posted evidence uh, showing that. What is your... Describe to me what... If you want, tell me what... You know, only tell... You know, say what you want to say about it as deep as you want to go. But what was what was your specific involvement in a LARP? Tell me, tell me your specific. I guess I know you have. I know you have a story. What, what is it? What can you tell people? What exactly? What you were you involved in? in terms well, of I, I like I said, I, I wasn't aware that I was part of the LARP. I, I, I thought that I was only invited to Cicada three three zero one as being just a puzzle that was that had zero involvement with uh, other things, and I was uh, basically recruited. Because of, of that, I know how to do graphics, you know, and, mm. and and maybe because I know a little bit about topics regarding, uh, you know, lot, let's what call was it. Your, what was your attraction to the group? What brought you in? What drew you into the crowd? Uh, Cicada three three zero one. If you search for it, it's a very well known puzzle. You know, it it it, it involves uh, knowing and it involves math. Uh, art and stuff so it, it's uh, it, it's a rabbit hole that in, in a way that 
you start digging, you start digging, and you start involving in, in, in this in yourself in this reality where things are are you know where it has nothing to do with politics. That particular puzzle is no politics involved. It's just a, a, a it's, it's basically against politics. I mean, against. the the movement when before it was be it was hijacked. It was very uh, cyberpunk. You know, okay. it, it, yeah, but uh, afterwards, well, it, it started when uh, going. Well, you know, it, at, you're not, you're never gonna see. You, you're gonna be part of the LARP as long as you see your ideals and your beliefs being reflected on it, and therefore the puppet master or the illusion masters are gonna do the best thing possible to keep you in that reality. You know, from uh, keeping you from talking to people or keeping you away from certain information. Mm. Uh, that's uh, uh, so the that, you puppet know, masters. The puppet master. You use, you brought in a new phrase. Those those people know what they're doing. Those are mm-hmm. the guys trying to rally. Uh, a, they're trying to rally. They're trying to create a, a group around this idea and let it grow. Right. So they're the puppet masters. They 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 have knowledge of what they're doing, one hundred percent. And anybody who comes into the circle either is jumping on the bandwagon because it's fun to abuse people or manipulate people or they're actually being manipulated themselves. So the group, the, the, um, the pool of Sikhs, as they say in the psychic world, Sikhs, people who believe, the QAnon people, the phenomena of QAnon, they're, they're a mixed bag of people who believe that Q is connected to Trump or they don't give a shit if it's connected to Trump. All they know is that there's a lot of people involved and this could move the ball forward for Trump. Is that, is that basically it? Well, the, and uh, I, I think that those two categories, it's maybe it's it, it's too inclusive because there are people that really believe Q as, as a movement, you know, that, that is reflecting uh, some inconformity, you know, and, and, and they're reflecting it as, you know, that's why Q is so aggressive. You see it as flames and stuff. It, it, it's... It's it's really so so much compressed anger and and it's being weaponized in in, in so many ways. Uh, you know, I, I I think that. Oh, sorry, I drifted away. <laughs> no, no, that's cool. So go back to your so your your own experience, right? So you're in the Cicada three three zero one, right? And you, what? How long were you? How long were you in this? You know, in this kind of LARP, un, uh, unwittingly in this LARP. Well, I guess that maybe, uh, uh, like, one year and a half, but it, it was not like, mm, I was fully involved, you know, it was like, uh, you're an asset, so, oh, we need this, can you do this, and right, stuff, and, right, and, right, and, right. and then you, you start doing stuff, when uh, when the big project uh, started to came by, well, you, you get uh, more and more, until you eventually end up like really being involved in and it's like a cult it, it, it is a cult it has the, it, it sounds like it has the qualities of a cult where people are you're you're being isolated to <clears throat> to not communicate with other people that are not in the cult if if you are then you're a traitor then you're you're revealing the inner secrets of the cult and um or you know, you become, you're jeopardizing, you're, oh, you're, because that's what you hear a lot in these, in these communities. Yeah. Oh, you're working with Defango, right? Or you hear, you, I, I get accused of it, I'm just a reporter. I'm just a curious guy involved. And as you say, people try to recruit you. They try to, try to bring, try to drag you into this ridiculous circle. And we'll talk about the nefarious parts of it as well. The, the, the lawsuits, the, the uh, taking it off the board, people contacting other people's uh, work or, or uh, you know, family and all, all that stuff. That, that's where it gets into crazy. That's where it gets into, like, it's criminal behavior. You know, it's literally, it's re- literally uh, felony stalking uh, that's going on. So, so your Cicada 3301, what, can you name some of the characters who you, who you met um, you had said one of them. I we already talked on the other show. So you had this guy, this Schoenberger character, whose name keeps constantly popping up. Uh, he what did he I, do? He worked his way into your house. He was living with you, and then tell me the story. What happened? Well, yeah, you know, he's the one that hijacked uh, Cicada, 
uh, the thing about and you mentioned about the being cult and stuff and stuff. I, I I think that the good thing or or what really let me it has the qualities of a cult that it has it fits the so far it fits the it they, serves they, as a religion they, now you can they, say they that turn, I'm sorry but go it, on. It, but it, as in its roots as in cicada is against all that so it was like eating the poison at at the same time when i was educating and learning more uh that's why uh, i never really participated or, or took part of any of the gang starting i i never did anything other than graphics and it were meant to inspire so people, people people were being told to stalk somebody else uh, uh, uh well, according to the 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 puppet master in this is schoenberger and he's telling you to stalk somebody else well, the first time that he like told me to do some cicada work, he asked me to make thirty Twitter accounts. And I was like, "What?" And and you know things like that, I never did. It was things that uh, didn't. Uh, so you like, he wanted you to have three separate sock accounts on Twitter. Thirty. Three. Thirty. Okay. Thirty. Thirty. Like, Excuse me. That's that's the amount that he, he that he has. He he told me, "Oh, if you're ready to make some money, you uh, start making thirty uh, Twitter accounts. I was like, what? Uh, ah. I was at first like money. I never joined Cicada uh, thinking that I was going to make some money. How many, I, I, how many members did you come across in this puzzle? How many people do you think were involved well, excluding the sock accounts? The, including the sock no, accounts? No, no, no. Ex excluding. Without the, without, without the 30, you know, everybody is 30 people. How many people were involved in it? Maybe actively and that eventually went and and maybe uh 12 14 time wow so not a big not a big crew at all i mean when we when you think about how big QAnon is QAnon can be literally it's maybe a million people right it, it, it was because a it, it, it's in, in a way that uh and so that group of people would target only influencers i see know? ah and, gotcha it, it it produces that they they would only go after the those kind of people. That's why you see so they. That's all you need. Then you're telling me that's all you need is a dozen people. A dozen people have thirty different accounts. They have thirty Twitter accounts. They have YouTube accounts too. Facebook. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But uh, even so, they could even not necessarily there. You can add uh, the people that are mainly that are aware, an example of that Cicada has been hijacked and are working in tandem from the outside with uh, this character, like in another movement, like maybe from the QAnon, but it's in contact with uh, with this uh, little cluster that right. is Cicada, but it's in contact also with the cluster that is uh, the Unity for J scan, you know, and, and, and so on and so forth. That That's why uh, we see them the same characters over and over at the same uh, lot, you know, maybe some new characters here and there, but at the core, you see them all always the yeah. same. No, that's a lot because if you're saying, if you're saying that there's maybe, let's just round it off to 15 people in a, in a gang and 15 people have 30 accounts. So that's 450 names coming mm -hmm. at you through 15 people that are controlled all saying the same thing. Exactly. That's how so they that's can create. That's that can bomb the shit out of a YouTube channel, where where all of the accounts are sock accounts, people talking and then answering themselves with a different account, and they're having this lengthy conversation that that debunks everything you're saying. Is that is that kind of the idea? Is that what you saw? I I, I got a video where this so, so that same character uses almost like maybe fifty accounts. He left it in a comment section in a video where, with each sock account, he put one word at, at with all words would uh, made the text. But it's really impressive, and and all uh, black men, an example, and then yeah. and same time frame. I mean, it, it's obvious, but it's impressive to see how many. So they can create, they can hype up a, a topic. You know, just maybe three, four people with, a, with all of those accounts. They can create uh, again. Fake hype. Could you tell me? Can you tell me what uh, this particular LARP under the under the um, supervision of Puppet Master Schoenberger? Can you can you reveal who who you targeted? Oh, uh, like I said, we I never did that. Right, you know, but who that, did they I, target? Who did you witness them targeting? Well, in in this case, it, it like 
the whole hyping up the Q thing and and when when they remember it, it, this is like really convoluted story and I, I don't want to uh, maybe I, I don't want to confuse people but uh, in in example mm, uh, like targeted I'm trying to look for for I'm, I'm thinking about a, a mm -hmm. quick example that that I can think okay so uh, and, and they try to hijack anonymous Scandinavia they, they try to portray themselves as being the holder of that account why because they were targeting a person that had close contact with WikiLeaks and eventually they did contact her and, and recruited her and stalked the hell out of her but they they an example when anonymous Scandinavia tweeted on on, on it it re replied oh thanks uh, TS got it uh, cipher code blah 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 so in the in the DM section that person would say hey did you look uh, at the new post of anonymous somebody said uh, send uh, like a shout out to to TS why don't you check it out and then when that and, and that person that was sending uh, that other person to check that tweet, that was TS. And at the end, when that person is convinced that TS is this uh, glorified person, that person is going to eventually present TS. I mean, TS would present himself with another account. You know, so it's going to yeah. say, oh, let me present to you uh, the composer, master math mathematician, creator of Cicada 301, Bitcoin, uh, the internet, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, and <laughs> and and Saint Germain, uh, Thomas Schoenberg, because that's another thing. You know, uh, they they even get lost 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 in, in so many lies. But yeah. that's a that's a perfect example, and that's something that he does, and they do that. Uh, if if you can find it even ridiculous, that why would somebody do that? But they do. You know. Yeah. Uh, no. It may. It does make sense because it. It's almost like the guru. You're, you're now being introduced to the guru, the all-powerful, because you've been because he's been pumping you with the idea that he's the all-powerful, right? It's through a fake account. You're talking to someone you think it's somebody else, and then finally, it's him talking to you, pumping, pumping him himself up. up, pumping air into his own balloon. Mm -hmm, exactly. So when you but, meet him, it, like whatever he says, it sounds says, like a lot of work like, too. It's a lot of work. It sounds like this guy puts in a lot of a lot of hours doing this, right? It's a, it's a totally total profession, right? Mm -hmm. Professional professional stalker. He he gets paid on, on a monthly basis. By how does he? Who? Well, how does? Tell me how the money flows. Tell me. Well, uh, he receives uh, basically donations. You know, he has this uh, let's call it facade uh, channel called Sophia Music, where he supposedly. Uh, push out his music and artistic videos that are all whitewashed music mm -hmm. you know that the videos are not original that they are just uh, just copied and whitewashed and, and, and downgraded so uh, YouTube has, doesn't have a problem that's a, a honeypot you know, but, a uh, honeypot yeah in a way a that, that's like you, the, you the could crack. call it a front a front, a front group uh huh. Yeah, that's why he's gonna present himself as a, a composer, as mm -hmm. this and that, and you're gonna go to the channel because you don't see, you know, the chance that you have seen every single musical video or every single musical piece out on the internet is really minimum. You know, so he's gonna maybe take a piece of this Turkish composer or this uh, guy over at uh, I don't know Thailand that isn't not really well known. But is really talented. Okay. And he's gonna bring it and, and portray it's it. him. And uh -huh. he says it's him. Look how great of a, a piano player on. So you you have, and you also have a personal experience with this particular uh, Thomas Schoenberg, a puppet master, where he claims to be the thing you're saying, which is a composer. And you you lived you lived in a house. He he came and he invaded your house for two weeks or whatever, right? Yeah. And he, he, and you he, that he was sick. Right. And, and I invited him sick. over. Right, and and you had a piano in the house, and and what happened? He never played the piano. He never played it, and that's something that you, you, you asked know, him to play the piano, I, and he never played the piano. You say, "Hey, hey, hey no, you, I, I heard you, I heard you recording. You want to play the piano?" He couldn't. He didn't play. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was like I even invited family, and, and I told him, "Hey, uh, this guy that is a uh, this piano uh, master is going to be here," and I got him this this piano. Uh, 
uh, I'm going to tell you when he's feeling better so you can hear him play. Never happened. No. So it was, uh, and my even my, my relatives, it was like, hey, and the piano guy, were, uh, we never get, got him, <laughs> never uh, get yeah. to see him. Uh, and that's, uh, you know, after two weeks, he was only supposed to stay one week after in the second week where I was like telling him every day, hey, are you going to get a place? Are you going to get a place? Uh, until the final day, I got like, I realized that he hit, uh, you know, the things that I mentioned that he never played it and his stuff just. So, so again, get, let's get back to the money though. So the money, he, you're saying that his, his uh, pool of trolls now, it's maybe 15, 12, 15 people. All we'll have thirty accounts here, another couple of accounts on Facebook and YouTube, right? Spread all over. It seems like an army. Like five hundred people are 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 cherishing and chirping this guy's name constantly, whether they because they either believe he's he's he is the guy or they're part of the the, the scam, right? So, so you're saying that that generates into donations into his music site? That's where uh, the money comes in. Yeah, like. Uh one thing he does, and because he has so many soccer accounts, uh, we've seen those same soccer accounts like commenting on sex toys, on 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 like fake ads. You know the ones that oh uh, this thing made me uh, my penis grow three inches and stuff. You see those same soccer accounts that he used. So uh, I'm mm. sure that he has some site uh, where he offers you know fake comments, fake fake views, and fake subscribers for a certain amount of. Money. That's why you see all the same. All the same people involved with in this LARP are going to have a massive amount of subscribers. That is not going to correlate with the amount of current viewers on, online or, or the likes or the views ratio. Right. You know, they, so so he so so what he does is he ah I get it. So you approach maybe a content provider that has a service or s sells something. And then you pump, it's like a pump and dump. You're pumping the audience, thinking, creating the illusion that there's a lot of traffic and a lot of people and a lot of interest in this piece of shit. Right? Exactly. That's, also, that's also a phenomenon. It's called pump and dump on Wall Street, by the way. And it's highly illegal. Or in the art community, where it's the same thing in the art community. I'll give you an example. What they do is, like if you have a, what, what you do is you find an artist. Right? You find an artist that, is unknown, which means all his paintings are cheap. And he has he has a hundred paintings, good paintings, nice paintings. Doesn't even matter if they're good or nice. He just has a hundred paintings and he has the ability to give us another hundred or two hundred or five hundred more. So what you do is you say, Oh, this, it's not worth anything, right? So what, what they do is they have an auction. They bring it to Sotheby's, right? And now and as you say, they pump it up. Pump up the guy and then somebody buys the painting for five hundred thousand dollars. Whoa! Now you made precedence, right? It's worth the five hundred grand. Why? Because you've got ninety-nine more paintings to sell at a million dollars. You follow? That's that's called it's painting the tape. So then I sell it to you, and you, I buy it. You sell it back to me, and I buy it to you. And or on Wall Street, where they're they're. It's called, again, painting the tape, where you're trading a stock back and forth, creating illusionary volume. Mm -hmm. Is that? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so, exactly. so it's up to the, so the players, the players are getting screwed. They think they're, they're told, oh, you're going to be part of something. But really, all they're getting is worshiping the guru, worshiping the, 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 the puppet master, because they're now part of something. They're yeah, part of the puzzle. Uh, a typical one is like, Hey, we, we have this movie about Cicada three three oh one. You wanna be a part of it or, or I'm gonna sell the rights. That's something that, that he tells a lot. You know, and and people that are in need, that are desperate, that uh, you know, he targets vulnerable people and, and not only him, like that's a common technique. Why? Because it's easy target, it, it, they're more easy to influence and by you know, it, it's cruel, but like I said, this is the internet, and because there's a way to make money, it's going to uh, attract the worst kind of people, you know, and, and unfortunately, people like that have a use in the political spectrum. Absolutely, you know, yeah, yeah. It does, I see the crossover, yeah, there's no doubt, because, well, I mean, the example, it's, it is pretty clear. I mean, in 2016, that kind of psychology was being used in the in the campaign, Bernie Sanders and uh, Hillary Clinton, right? 
where it, all of a sudden, if you would post something positive about Bernie Sanders, you would get bombed, literally, bom within minutes, bombed with counter, counter comments, calling you an idiot, a Bernie bro, a retard, a, a communist, a socialist, a, 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 you know, all these, all these, all the name calling, right? Like one after another, fast and furious, right? Obviously sock accounts. Some of it was, was English that was obviously not coherent, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. but it was, it, it, so there, there lies, there lies the connection into politics, which is really what I wanted to, which is really what I, I believed because as we now move into a political season, and again, this is speculation because I have no evidence to prove it other than talking to people like you, that now I could see the value in having a, a, a fine-tuned, well-oiled cult ready to go because then the puppet master says, oh, we're for, uh, I'm for, I'm for Bernie or I'm for Trump, right? And now you can mobilize that, that, group of psychopaths and point them at anybody who's against Trump. Actually, I was going to mention, and this is going to make you uh, think a little bit because I'm sure that you didn't know. Uh, Thomas has over, maybe I counted him, maybe five or six Bernie-related sock accounts on Twitter that he has used for attacking that, I mean, uh, like... Uh, well, he attacked one me. He attacked me doing it. So go ahead. Mm -hmm. With a Bernie account? With, he, yeah, uh, he's no. He's a he's. He, I have all his emails. He's a you know his his emails are he attacks he attacked me as himself, but uh, he he had that anti the anti Bernie thing whatever. But I, I'm I'm sorry I interrupted. He portrayed you. himself as pro Bernie. I mean those accounts at one time. The, I, what I'm trying to go is that. If you know about the the infiltration of the Bernie campaign, that's that's a that's a good trail. You know, uh, why did he have so many Bernie pro Bernie accounts when he's definitely not uh, pro that uh, that candidate? You know, that's that's something to think about. And why? Because uh, we I posted it, this already on, on my channel, but there's a, a he was receiving. Six hundred dollars payment on a regular basis from this just lawyer that is connected to, and, and I'm going to try. I explained this yesterday, but let's. This lawyer called Stephen Scott Biss. Okay. Okay. He he is the lawyer of the current guy Nunes. I think he's a representative or congressman. Some some big yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard the name. I I forget who he is, but go ahead. He. Uh, that guy is suing Twitter for immense amounts. He's making uh, lawsuits for just stupid things, but for uh, um, uh, big, big amounts, you know, that are, look more like a publicity stunt other yeah. than anything else. And the thing is, it, I mean, uh, oh man, I love oh, my no, no, kill I'm just looking up who. who Devin Nunes um, served U.S. House of Representatives since 2003. Uh -huh. Let me just figure and out who he is. So he's he's proudly serving California's 22nd district. Devin Nunes served House of Representatives, currently representing California 22. Okay. And, and check the lawsuits that he has uh, made this this past. All of them have been uh, uh, made by the same lawyer. Okay. Now he. That idea of of lawfare against social media right. comes from Robert David Steele on rig idea. If, if if you if you see the emails between Tanya Viz, Robert David Steele, when you say lawfare, that's that's a that's a very inside term. Lawfare meaning that using lawsuits to to create uh, to to silence your enemy, to shut them up. I'm gonna sue you. I'm going to sue you, you motherfucker. I like it. That kind yes, of thing. I'm going to sue you and then, or sue them. And, and then with white gloves say, oh, see, no, we're just having some fun here. It's just a, it's, we're just that's trying to get to the truth. Exactly. Mm. That's what they're doing right using now. The le using the, okay, go on. The, the, the plan was to shut up the discerning voices from uh, all media 
with lawsuits, uh, with uh, because and they mention it on the email, like specifically that it would keep them busy, that it would keep them worried, that that would prevent them to creating content that would go against their narrative. So you and, know for sure, you know for sure that ne Devin Nunez was paying off Schoenberger in some way to no, use not, his... Not Nunes, but, but, uh, somebody I'm sure that Bliss, Bliss. Bliss. Yes. And so, you see, there, okay. there's a lawsuit uh, of Nunes against Twitter because he went, he he called out this uh, sock account called Nunes Cow or something. No, yeah. And that sock account that was made to parody, it could be even Thomas himself, you know, that they, they yeah. can... They they find a fault on Twitter and they just created just this account that really doesn't do anything, but it's enough to create a, a, a lawsuit that that makes media look at that and you know and 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 just create a, some sort of precedent. And that's the same thing that they're doing uh, like against you. An example that that yeah. first they went to ridicule you, they went after your persona, your character, your your history, and now they after all of those resources have been. Uh, uh, like drawn out that they didn't work. Now they're going through. Now I'm going to add you in the law, in the suit. Now you're going to have to go to court. Now it's going to be so boring. Think about it. Are you sure you want to be they involved? Throw, they throw everything but the kitchen sink at me so far, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. You know, and, and that's that's how it, because of the same patterns that they use. Over are they coming at me? Let me ask you this: Are they coming at me personally? I don't want to talk about myself, but are they coming at me? Because they are—they are coming at me because I am because I they see me as someone who could work for them, or I'm I'm not workable. So we'll just shut them up. Yes, yes, because you're talking about it. Because yeah. you talk about a lot it. of people have talked about it. Global yeah. Agenda is a channel that tried to talk about it and immediately got thoughts and and, and read, like yeah. and the next day it it, it it removed all the content regarding Schoenberg. It it was amazing to see some YouTubers don't talk to me, don't comment, don't don't want to do nothing because of fear because they have been paid hush money. Uh, it, it's it that's the kind of environment that. We didn't have to having to deal with you know yeah. this kind of so stuff. Th I experienced it twice so far. Once when I was going after George Webb, and I almost gave him a nervous breakdown over possibly killing, you know, killing the uh, killing his uh, his roommate uh, Jenny Moore. I was trying to expose that, but I was getting you know it always gets noisy over the target, and I was trying to figure out if he you know so for example George Webb, it's likely that he's controlled in some way with a lot of sock accounts. Like a lot of the people that are commenting are one person commenting 30 times and, and things like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That, yeah. that particular guy, does it, do you agree with that, with George Webb? Uh, well, it, no, I don't agree with him, <laughs> but, but it, it's... Uh, no, do you that, agree with my, my assessment that he's being controlled by sock accounts in oh, some yeah. way? It, the same goes for uh, yeah. Jason Goodman. I, I've seen them. Goodman too. Okay. They they find it. I don't know how they don't see it. You know, there are people that they're so easy because they come in and they want something. Yes. They want you to do something, and they they're gonna push it over and over, and then another account will just pop on in and go straight at the topic, uh, mm -hmm. and that's when you have to cut them off. You know that otherwise they're gonna and, and because that's so dangerous because they. They're good at what they're doing. They're They've controlling been, the comment narrative. Yeah, exactly. They're going to distort your chat. They're go, they're going to distort uh, the chat. See, mm -hmm. uh, they're going to uh, plant the seed of doubt of, of what you're saying and right. of, of your character. And and that's why it's so important to even try to inoculate your audience before that. That's why they're calling us right now that we are part of the LARP, that we right. are on 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 channel wars. That, yeah. that and they're trying to diminish what we're doing and make it something that no, we're just LARPing here, just look away, you know, uh, and, and make it seem tedious. That's part of what they do. They, they're because really people, because they, people read the comments, the comments are important in a video. Like, for example, I filter my own at in the beginning, I didn't do it at all, I just left everything. I left it all. I said, you know what, I was a little naive. I said, you know what. I'm just going to leave all the comments, dude, and let people fight it out. And then I realized that it's exactly what you're saying, where it's, it can't be so many people disagreeing at once. 
on something so trivial like, you know, universal single payer health care. <laughs> you have, and you've got suddenly 40 idiots, com, com, you know, different names, names that you haven't seen before, all piling on, trying to shift the way. And then someone like me will read it and say, oh, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Uh, exactly. Or maybe maybe I got that wrong. Maybe I should rethink that. Maybe my audience doesn't really like that. So, so there the psychological war is on the people in the comments and someone like me who is not really doesn't fully believe yet that that's what's going on, right? Uh, and and ultimately, uh, I, well, I, I smartened up. I I now if I see the. I could spot it. I could spot it right away when it's starting to happen. I just delete them or block them. You know, the block list is is now you know fucking bigger than it's bigger yeah. than the uh, the participation list. You just block them, you know, and see how many sock accounts you could you could add up. Uh, but they come, they keep coming at you, as you said. You know, they keep coming at you. But yeah, uh, that's why you have to inoculate your your chat before and and to. Learn. What do you mean? What do you mean inoculate your chat? What do you mean by telling them what's going on? Yeah, you have to explain them what, what's them. going on, and and the yeah exactly. And the I kind tried of to, and I could, but I didn't have I didn't have a handle. I've said it on my channel many times that the channel is under attack through trolls, and people okay. say, "Oh, Conti, you're you're censoring." I said, like, "No, that's not what it is. It's not it's not real. You're not censoring real people. You're censoring obvious uh, because look, it's logic." It's not, exactly. it's logic, exactly. it's logical that no one would sit and watch my video if they felt so strongly against it. There's no reason to do that. You, for me, I, I don't even give you 30 seconds. I give you maybe 45 seconds. If I don't agree, I turn it off. I never come back to your channel. Right? Exactly. That's what, Why? that's what normal people do. They don't sit there and, and fight and argue and watch the whole video and comment details on all of the things that you said. Right? And comment on, and then go further. Oh, you got fake teeth and fake hair, and you're a fucking you. You a junkie, and you're blah, 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 fucking. You live in Brooklyn. You live in. You you you're you're, part, you're partnering with fucking Goodman. Yeah, you staged that umbrella bullshit. Right. So why would someone waste so much time with all that? Right. So that there lies the evidence. Evidence of unre unrealistic attention to. Trivial points, right? Which which then causes you causes the content creator. You're saying that Schoenberger focuses on creators, disrupt the creators, right? So I'm I'm his target, not the not the regular people. The regular people are just along for the ride, and are being manipulated. I'm the target. Goodman's a target as well, right? It's fair to say, right? Since yeah, definitely he's he got he. I don't understand also why people hate him so. Much. I mean yeah, I I don't. Uh, he seems like a. I mean personally, I, I wouldn't like. I I have this uh, aversion uh, to him. Yeah. But it's like I don't hate him or anything. But I've seen like a real coordinated some sort of effort to really just uh, all against them yeah, and knock him out. Yeah. You know the the uh, the the fact is with Jason and I the thing the thing the the fundamental problem there is that he thinks I'm one of those trolls. That's what he thinks. Jason and he told me he says, I mean his his suspicion is that I'm somehow working with somebody else because why would I have an interest in doing what I'm doing? Right? That's his. That's his illusion. He's so down the rabbit hole that he doesn't realize that I'm. I, I'm a whistleblower. I did it. I. I did this thing and it ended up online, and and I do this not not. I, I do this also because it's fun, but I also see it as a way of, uh, you know, creating your own news outlet. And and I think I think what happens with people that aren't true, then they're not honest. They they don't even they can't conceive that that's really what you're doing. Well, no, 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 you can't possibly be honest. You <laughs> can't possibly care about the people. Yeah, they define it impossible to ridiculous. actually good people ex 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 be and out that's there. Good, or the, the, that's that good, good things can happen or, they, that tend, yeah. or that people sometimes act honorably. Sometimes right. they act like total pieces of shit. But... Uh, you know, not not everyone. If and if we keep that 
that thought that everybody is going to act shitty all the time, we're just, uh, we're not going to really get anywhere. Yeah. People are going to watch this and say, oh, these guys are crazy, man. These guys are, these guys are like lost, man. They're all lost in their head. And now this is, I don't believe it. No, I don't believe it. I don't believe that one guy has 30 accounts and he's got 15 people with 30 accounts and they look at him as the, as the, the sock puppet guru, the master, the puppet master, and he's taking money from the Clintons and, and the money's flowing from the DNC. They're just not going to believe it. Now, the idea that money flows into these things is very realistic. It's not, I mean, that's what super PACs are. That's what think tanks are. They don't, they're not going to come online and try to create this course. They're going to pay you to do it. Be why? Because there's a lot of money in that. If you try to attack someone like me, who's clearly on the record of supporting Sanders and the progressive candidate, if it is a progressive candidate, in the 2020 election, I'm on the record. That's what I'm going to do because that's what I believe is best for the country. I believe that Trump is is a corporatist and, and he has a financial idiot, right? And just by saying that, watch, watch in the comments how many jerk-offs come in and try to online oh, yeah. that comment. Well, the, just the to say Bernie Sanders, and you'll have 25 comments, he's a communist, he's a socialist, he sold out, Hillary fucked his ass, he blah, 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 every, he, oh, his wife has three houses, he, she's a fraud, all the same. It's like, mm -hmm. it's almost like, um, cut and paste those are not real people uh yeah and actually like the when you were uh nice enough to go in, in my show the, uh the last time lots of people i i saw it in the comment is like uh because you said that you're a professional psychic it's like yeah. guys hoax and, and and whatnot and so on and it's like uh you you're letting that thing uh undermine what we said on that on that interview what I said because I just see people that that even are, were regular on on my yeah. on my channel on my show just uh, completely block off everything else. Yeah, they're you hopping know? on the hopping on the talking point. It's a political a strategy to you hop on the talking point. For me, it's a uh, criminal record. It's um, uh, I met Howard Hughes in the desert when I was seven years old. Uh, you haven't really heard that one, but that'll, that'll start to come out a little more. Uh, I, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Hop on the weakness um, of of the content creator. It's fascinating stuff, man. God damn, this is fascinating. I, I knew it was happening, but I, I just, uh, you know. So, so are you aware of um, Schoenberger, the the guy? Are you aware of this, the 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 background, the criminal background of this guy? Yeah, absolutely. You know it all. Well, I I, I well, know. Don't say it here because then you're. You're you're in violation of somebody's privacy, but we'll we'll get we'll get around to it. But you are aware of the, the 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 actual things that he's done, right? Well, yeah, I, I, we'll talk I've about that later because there's more. There's more to it. There's okay. a lot more to it. I only pretend that I, I only look stupid and goofy. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know it, it's not smart to show all, all to to show all your fortes. Right. You know, but that doesn't make me a larper. That that's. That's the difference. That's the smear. That I'm no larper. I just happen to be. I happen to have a very, very high IQ, <laughs> and, uh, I, uh, and and uh, I actually, I actually have a supreme advantage because of that. Because I stay in the truth, and that's the most powerful. That's the most powerful thing, right? I have okay. nothing to hide. You can ask me anything you want, all the yeah. time. I'm an open book. You want to know my address? Great. Come on in. You're gonna. What are you gonna do? You're gonna walk into my house? F fantastic. See if you get out alive. Right. <laughs> you're yeah, welcome to come in. What are you gonna do? But stuff like that is just. If you're an open book and you stay in the truth, you have. Um, you you basically the best place a, to hide is a, out in the open. Is what I'm trying to say. In a metaphorically way of speaking, you have God's armor when you have truth. Yes. You, know, you have. There's nothing to fear, really. Right. right. So, so let's move. Let's move to the the new the newest LARP that's forming. Dave Acton, David Schwaggard. Is he a is he one of these puppet masters in in practice? In your well, in your experience. Well, I really didn't have any. I didn't really even knew he existed. I I, I was lost. I I didn't care because I 
find it boring. You know, the whole Dave, Dave Acton or George Webb were the same. I was like, and, and okay. I knew about, uh, you know, it's the dirty. Uh-huh. It's, it's not, not your thing. Uh, yeah. Not really. I, I've seen him and I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm glad that he doesn't talk about me. You know, I have enough people talking shit about me. So right. I've just seen them and, and, you know, just keep quiet and, and, and analyze. You know what's going on. That's uh, you. You have to know. Uh, you know you, you can't really do everything or, or go. You know just cleaning up YouTube. For, no, it, it. You know we got to keep it real. And and I guess that the focus has ne- never changed because I personally think and I've seen it by firsthand experience that it's dangerous for that person to be online. You know it's it it has an. Uh, uh, cancer type disease influence over people right you know, and, and non communities uh, that's why uh, and among other things you know that I, I guess that I really haven't backed down you know uh, close friends that have been affected yeah. uh, I've really suffered for because of, of, of this LARP yeah, you know? yeah. so yeah, has you to have stop. to I mean it's it's definitely it it's definitely felony level stalking when you when you i mean as simple as sending someone a, a a threatening letter or an email is is actually you know is 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 a crime i mean that's what the, that's the nature of the practice of these guys i mean i have your friend thomas schoenberger you know committing felony after felony you know co- you know fel- i don't know if it's felonies but it's definitely it's definitely cyber stalking which is um when you tell somebody don't contact me and they continue to do it, or Mr. Acton, Acton, Mr. Schwagger, who keeps doing it, you tell him stop making videos, stop. You know he's I'm up to he's got like forty videos, forty maybe maybe more maybe a hundred I don't even know I don't watch him if I see my name in the title I I I just I save it and I throw it in a file for later, you know I and it and it it piles up but it's a constant. Um, it's a con. You wonder. You say, "Oh, this guy's going to sue me." Great. What are you going to sue? You're going to what? What are you going to do? You're going to sue me, and I'm going to I'm going to humiliate you in court. And that's that's precisely the goal, right? The goal is to tie somebody up. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Nothing else. Yeah. Not to win the case, because he and, doesn't and seem they, like he wants they, to beat Goodman. They, he they just seems like he wants in, to. They make you make you say or do the wrong thing that it's going to eventually. Maybe uh, like this time, really stick in court. You know that they're gonna frame you in a way. No, a trap. Uh huh, a trap. Yeah. And they they've done it. I've seen. I, uh, so so Acton over- Acton fits the protocol. He fits the profile of a serial stalker of a of one of these puppet master kind of characters. Yes. Well, I, I would have to know him better to make that assessment really I, I, I really don't think I haven't researched him okay I, I could say of, of other people that I like you know that I, I've seen the narcissistic personality yeah. you know and and clear techniques of, of, of you know of uh, lawfare and all that stuff but I, I couldn't make the that specific assessment uh, with the information that I have but because he, just in in watching he, this he's gonna he, he'll he'll again you'll get five videos just by just by igniting his name You'll get five videos for slander, <laughs> or something like that. Right? That's what you. I mean, who has who has in who has their time to follow me around? What what is so valuable? You know, you say to yourself, "What is so valuable? What is the what is the end game? Trying to just silence or or gain control? It's very it's very fascinating, man. Very fascinating. Well, when once you get the idea of what's really going on, that it's a real story that has been affect that has affected in a real way, uh, you know, the, our uh, politics, our, our our commonwealth thinking, if you want to call it, over here at YouTube at least, and and just uh, just see the the cute phenomenon. It's it mm-hmm. it's spawned from that group, you know, it, it right. without a doubt, and uh, that's. Uh, I guess that you, you can judge something by its fruits, you know, and, and with the results that we have, if we audit them, it's, uh, what do we have? Like, uh, shooters, uh, yeah. censorship, mass surveillance. You uh, think a lot of the shooters, you think a lot of the shooters are also, because I have a theory about that, a lot of the shooters are part of the, some sort of, some sort of puzzle, some sort of 
common cult, some kind of common, because that is the premise of the, uh, the QAnon killer, the defense in that case is that the guy was part of the QAnon trap, right? Well, uh, I, I the, see the it shooters as... Are, are, the shooters fall into a category of, of some sort of puzzle follower. Well, it, it's, uh, you know, I think that when they do that, they really think that they're doing something good. That something yes. racist. The only way that you can make somebody think that is with a cult kind of uh, indoctrination, you know, where uh, you have them in living in a different reality, kind of like uh, what we uh, we're talking about, a LARP reality, right? You know, where everybody's saying, "Yeah, you know, uh, get them. You're 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 gonna go uh, down a legend." And no, we're uh, the the pr the. The, the white hats are, are going to protect you afterwards, like, don't worry. You know, you, you can get a, a person, I, I, you know, in that point where you destruct the persona, you mm. destroy it, and, and you, make, you make it perceptive, vulnerable. Uh, you, you implant this uh, seated idea, you feed it up with uh, social endorsement or, or social approval, and you got yourself a weapon, you know. Right. And, and, and what we also, I mean, f just for the people that are not, like, okay, so if I'm the target, all the people that follow me are victim. Because I'm getting, I'm getting attacked and manipulated, so then my message gets g degenerated, and those people lose out. Exactly. Right? Then they blame, the, they blame the, the artist, me, the guy leading the show, for selling out or some other some other nonsense, and then the LARP is complete because the, you've defeated the you've defeated that positive message, right? You, you've, you've you're gonna see the, the the users that they were like, yeah, do it, Marcus. Yeah, you're great, and and I think you're gonna see them like simply vanish, no and you're gonna lead, you're gonna get with only the real people that are gonna really hold you accountable, yeah. and, and you're gonna feel that what many. Mm. Just the best example is Victoria's Liverses channel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, At one point it went, and then it was dropped. So when FBI and on, uh, like, dropped, and, and Q came, uh, at one point it, they just stopped being endorsed and stopped receiving special guests and so on. But now recently we've seen, like, John McAfee brought into the scene. Hmm. You know, there, there are a lot of things that are happening, and that's why I find it really important that, because it, it only comes to a point that you can expose them, and then what? For, where for my am, I really can't send them to Yale, or, or and it would be a tedious process. I find it more productive to try and inoculate the audience, the public, so right. later, later on they're going to be able to detect and call out for themselves right. and not uh, fall for it again because in 2017, 18, we all fall for so many LARPs and, yeah. and traps, you know. Uh, well, when came caught, blame Russia. That, that's really what happened. I mean, in the, the, all, the, all the thing, all that generated uh, LARPing and, and sock accounts, blame Russia. But, and, and we know that Russia had nothing to do with it. It was... It was it was exactly what you were talking about. It's paid trolls. It's, it's, it's culted trolls. That's something new for me. See, I thought everybody, it, it, people say, well, no, 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 you can't possibly pay people to do something like this because then there would be a money trail. But it's, 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 more, it's more insidious where I think it's more, it's cult, the, the elements of a cult where you're, you believe so strongly in what you're doing that you, you follow along, willful idiot. Wow. So I think we agree. We both, are you still, uh, are you still, do you still have a dream of being a man, a puppet master or a LARPer or are you just, are you sincere in exposing it? No, I, I, I really, I could say that I couldn't be more sincere in the fact that I really think that this is dangerous. This is, uh, a, this is killing activism, real activism. Uh, this, uh, this is hurting the, the, the collective consciousness, you know, this poisonous doubt and, 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 and anger and, and, you know, aggressive. You know, you, you see it in how people react when you say the simplest thing. They don't even know how to take a joke anymore. Yeah. You know, or 
I, I've, I've seen people that really deserve to be in the dark ages, you know, that yeah. they see one of my videos and I, uh, it's demonic, it's satanic, it, it's like, yeah. wait, 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 no, art is subjective. If you are seeing demons, devils and stuff, <laughs> Right. That's what you are reflecting on. on See, on I knew, I, I knew, I knew when I when I saw you out there. I said, I like this guy. I don't, I don't believe, I don't believe that he's an evil fuck. And it because usually whenever someone, whenever the, the collective consciousness is, is this guy's a bad guy, evil guy. I know right away he's the target of something bad. He's yeah. the target. So I want to talk to him. It's like the tooth lady, the tooth fairy. I, I don't want to call her that because that's not her name. Tr uh, tr uh, Truth convoy. Right is is the same. They're they're attacking this this lady relentlessly, and then you reach out and you realize she's not a, she's not crazy. She's not crazy at all. She's rather sane and actually very very articulate and clear. You know, I would I'm not going to comment on her the way she goes about solving a problem, but but definitely mental facility is there and so i want to talk to that person i want to know what well, defango defango is so hated because why defango it seems well i can't speak for him but it does seem based on what he said that he doesn't want any involvement with these creeps anymore <laughs> so it's like being in the mafia and you can't get out right you can't get out that's why they're attacking you you can't get out you know all the secrets you motherfucker i'm gonna get you you motherfucker right I'm gonna. You're stalking my son, motherfucker. Right? That's what you uh, start to hear. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to curse yeah, That's anybody. his favorite. You there, know, there, there was. You don't even know, knew he has a son, and then you suddenly are harassing him. And it's, it's like I said, there's nothing sacred that yeah. they would not use to uh, yeah, attack you. Yeah, to right, weaponize, right. Everything, you know? everything that, everything that uh, you do is an attack on them. Right, so you say something, and then oh, you're attacking me. Now I'm going to respond to the attack, and that's how it begins, right? So now you're you're in this tit for tat that that you didn't start and didn't want any part of, but now you're you're drawn into the controversy because you have to defend yourself. So, I mean, right. yeah, that, that that's how I, I I basically started streaming, you know, because there's a lot of corruption. I I will say in terms of. The, the reason the the ability for Twitter to allow thirty accounts or for YouTube to allow fifty accounts for one person, that should be stopped. One account, one person, one vote. Right? Exactly. And, and and you know, the, the problem is that we reported and they have he has so many banned accounts and each time that we report something it's like you know who this guy is. We've reported yeah. it so many times. Like this is not Why? Why can't you detect the IP, the hash, something like? Yeah, to knock him out, right? Right. Whoa, that's some heavy stuff. I think we, you know, the thing again. I think we will leave it on this one. Uh, is that we both, you and I? I certainly, I'll speak for myself. Is I want a healthy, a healthy environment, right? You come into this with with the intention of, for me was politics, was I know that the elections are rigged. I know the elections in this country are clearly rigged, right? I know that, um, that people are not, their voices are not being heard because of corporate corruption, the money flowing into politics, right? I know that. And, to, and, and that's all I wanted to do, really, was to speak about it. And, and, and uh, so I want a healthy environment is what I'm, what I'm saying, is what I'm after is a healthy environment. I sense that that's what you're after as well. You're trying to, you made a mistake, you got involved in it, knowing, unknowingly, unwittingly, and you found yourself in it and you ran from it, right? Is that safe to say? You, you, you walked away. I confronted it. You I, confronted I, I, it. You confronted, right, right. Rather yeah, yeah. than pretend it wasn't happening, right? Because that's, that's a good one too, because it's embarrassing to, to, to find out. It would have been. It's embarrassing when you look up one day and say, "Oh my God, I am. I'm in. I'm a fucking cult member. I, I'm in this, in this thing. In this this slimy guy with all these criminal charges against him is manipulating me. Embarrassing. Nope. Right? When you realize that you have that person in your house and you feel actually in danger in wow. your house, that's a feeling that I don't want to. I don't want to feel again. Yeah. So it, it's very eerie. And so, so it, it's uh, I. I don't want anyone else being hurt. I, I want this. Uh, it's really, it's really degrading the 
the experience experience that people come the experience that people have when coming into social media mm. because they're seeing a reality that it's completely distorted are seeing opinions that they're not uh, artificial opinions you know and, and so it, the the best thing is to fight ignorance with uh, knowledge and you know that's that's it you know uh, knowledge people, is power yeah exactly and they're gonna you know you gotta be ready they're gonna call us uh, that we work together they're gonna say that uh, this is we're just playing uh, uh, drama you know that we're, right, drama. we're making this up right now this is a role play uh -huh, we're exactly. role playing right now. This is uh, we're we're the LARPers role playing to, to to cancel out their truth. Right. That's the that's the play. Uh, exactly. And what people really need to understand is see the difference on delivery, on 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 what we're trying to transmit instead of attacking, uh, the defects. You know, uh, like we we could make fun of of the meme that I put out of on Thomas where he looks like this. Uh, uh, really uh, obese man, you know, and somebody that calls makes fun of people over their weight, you know. Right. But it's it's it. We would not transmit anything. Uh, we would not uh, like. Uh, it would not be a nutritious talk for a, either of us. It would be just be gossip, you know. Right. What everybody offers here on YouTube. Public and, opinion is very. It's very valuable what you're saying because again, it's always. What is the motive? What would drive someone to do it? And it is, again, because I, I was perplexed by that part of it. It's like, why, why attack me? Why don't you go attack CNN or go to attack someone with a million followers? Why, why, you know, why hop on someone like me? But, but again, opinion is very powerful because, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, have, I have subscribers that are actually real. I'd like to believe that. I don't know. Are you guys real? Is, fucking, is anything <laughs> real anymore? Is yeah, yeah. Just the, fake? The, like, have I been talking to delivery. fake people for the last year? Have I been talking to the same person for the last year? Are the comments the same fucking person? That's crazy. That's, that's crazy. That's making you trip out. To I think mean, about that. Really questions you're like oh shit like uh, what if all my friends are Thomas Schlimbergers <laughs> like <laughs> right 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 and then you get paranoid say oh this motherfucker that's not real no you're not real you're not a real person I'm gonna delete you I'm gonna block you because you're not real you're and one of those trolls you, you get paranoid people fall into that cycle you get paranoid and, and that's that's what happened to Goodman where he thought I was one of the trolls to the extreme and you saw the you know I mean I attacked him but not not because I was part of any attack group I attacked him because I told I fundamentally disagreed with him and that he was you know that, that was a, that was a, a separate issue but I can't see where he was rising and became paranoid thinking that I was somehow conspiring with others to beat him which in a sense I am because I'm a content creator I'm competing that's that's healthy competition that's there's a difference I'm not part of it, right? I, like I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the store around the corner com selling the same item, right? And we're competing. There's, there, there, right? So why I don't hate you? I shouldn't hate you or see you as a, as a, 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 a uh, corrupt threat. You're just a competition. You, I sell hamburgers. You sell hamburgers, right? Is your ham if your hamburger is better than me, you're going to sell more hamburgers. If I have a better hamburger, I'm going to sell more hamburgers. That's how or, I view it. Or I can hire people that are going to say that my hamburgers are better than yours. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the problem, I guess. Right. How, how, how could you eat that hamburger? That hamburger sucks. Try the Thomas Schoenberger hamburger. This is a, this is a better <laughs> hamburger. Here, isn't it? It's a beautiful hamburger. Here. Here's your hamburger. That yeah. makes sense. And then, then somebody else will come in. Is, you should definitely eat that Schoenberger burger. Okay. Schoenberger burger. All right, so let's let's kill let's kill it here. So uh, very educational. We learned all about we we we. I mean, people watching this are not going to believe it. They're still. I'm telling you, people are still going to say, "Oh, you're you're so far down the rabbit hole." And oh, I'll, I want to ask you the other thing, right? A lot of people before we end, right? Because this is important. A lot of people will say, "You shouldn't give them any attention at all." And here's where I disagree. 
That's it's not me. It's not me. If not you, if not me, if not you, who's going to do it? Because what you're doing is you're just passing it off to somebody else because they're not going to stop. And that is the essence of, of whistleblowing, uh, Grasshopper. That is the essence of what it is, is that it's not that you're, you don't run from it. You, don't, you also don't run into, the, run into the blaze of bullets flying at you. But what you do is you, you have to, you can't just say, okay, I could say, okay, this is, not, this is happening and my solution is to, is to go, go silent on these people and, let, and they'll eventually go away because they, they, they almost always do. Uh, you, don't, you don't feed it and it goes away because they have no control over it, over you, right? Or you can engage it and, and show people, as you say, you're showing, you're showing people from experience what happened. I'm showing people that it's actually happening right now, right? You're confirming that it happens, and I'm confirming that it's happening as we speak. And I think that that's very valuable, so anybody who says to not engage is, I, I just fundamentally disagree with that psychology. I think that's cowardly. I think yeah. that if you, if you lie in the truth, you, uh, uh, and anyone who watches this is going to spend an hour and 15 minutes watching this, is going to come away understanding that there is this phenomena online of, of attack and that there are, there are reasons why, it, why it's going on, where it's connected. How, it, how the money flows in from higher entities who have an interest in manipulating public opinion. Right? That's, what, that's what advertising is. But this, in this sense, we're, we're, we're going into, as, you, as we've talked about, very dangerous areas of, of, uh, of uh, personal violation, crimes, actual crimes being committed. All right, man. Wow. Let's start. What a great talk, man. Thank you so much, man. I'm going to just kill it right here. So... Uh, <clears throat> Anything else you want to? I'll, I'll plug your sites a couple more times here. So we got Lestat. We're looking at um, his uh, his videos here. Let's definitely hit the subscribe button there. And the conspiracy distillery is. Um, I guess there's a mirror. There there mirror sites right now. He's he's broadcasting the same on on uh, both. Or there's extra ones on on Lestat. They're uh, different. Yeah, they're, they're different. different. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's start. Marcus Conte reporting. Awesome, man. Thank you for inviting me. It was, it was, it was really a great talk, and I, I, I enjoyed it. Let's repeat it, man, soon. And I'd like an update. Yeah, man. Hold on a second. Are we still recording?